So guess what? I am doing a thing during the month of April. Uh, I did this like two-ish years ago over on Instagram every like for the month of November actually of like 2020 I want to say. Um, 20, not 2020, 2023 probably because it was leading up to my 45th birthday. Um, do the math and figure out how old I am now. Uh, but that being said, I am coming on and I'm going to try something which is a little bit old school, which is VEDA. Um, vlog every day in April. So it probably won't be vlogging. It'll be going live because that's going to be what's easiest for me. Um, but there will be an, uh, some form of video uploaded daily. That's the goal during the month of April 2025. And so I'm super excited to hop on live here today to bring you a piece of content, right? And so um, let's get right into the value. This is an update. Everybody say update on the garlic investigation. So if you remember, we had three garlic samples. So, so for those of you who want a little bit more context, you can actually go back to the video that is from March 27th, uh, 2025. And I go in depth on how to make, I wanna say it's March 27th. Don't hold me to it, the ish, all right? Um, and it talks about a video that was requested from Tamika. You know who you are. Hey, girl. And so now I'm doing a follow-up because you're probably wondering what happened with those samples. Or maybe you're not wondering and you just want to know um, or be able to follow up with the activity and know what to expect. What should they look like? Because I specifically said in that video that if they don't do something within a couple of days, something has gone wrong right? Because one of my tips, my constant tips to you all when you're doing STEAM education, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics with your students, this is really looking at educators. When you are um, going to do an activity with a group of children outside of the home, you're going to want to make sure that you do some version of testing either in your classroom, if your classroom environment is really persnickety uh, per se, especially when we're talking about um, doing plants or anything that has to dry, um, like any type of art project, it matters if you're going, what is going to happen in the space specifically. But for me, um, I travel around and teach. And so it's important for me to just make sure that say, say my, see my seeds are live, um, rather actually going to germinate that season. I don't use old seeds from previous seasons thing I learned years ago. I won't do that again because um, it just doesn't work. Um, and so anywho, let's proceed with our garlic investigation update, garlic sprouting. And I'll talk to you a little bit about how they're doing, how each sample is doing. Remember we did three different samples and I'll talk to you a bit about how you can proceed with them or if you just want to stop right there. All right. So the first thing I did was this three cotton ball you see it it's one two three three cotton balls a garlic clove and some water All right you see how it's doing i'm going to rotate it a bit you should be able to see there the roots i'm going to there we go turn the light down a little bit so that we stop getting the glare that's the roots all right Remember, one of the things I specifically mentioned that you can see and the roots are dug in like they would be in soil. It's acting like the garlic is soil. Okay. Um, let's see if this can focus. Let's try to get this to focus. Okay. And so if I, you see me try to pull on it a little bit, it's, I would have to pull hard to get it to come out of the cotton ball because it is treating the cotton like it's soil and so it's grabbing onto the soil. We know that roots anchor the plant where they are, where it's at, okay, and then suck up the nutrients, including water. Water, depending on who you speak to nutrition-wise, is a nutrient, okay? Um, and so, and water is the main thing okay water remember again 
following up from the last video, water, nutrients, sunlight, and space. In that order, really. Okay? Water, they have to have water. Plants must have water to go from seed, to go from cutting, to go from anything else into developing a new plant, a healthy plant, to have any hope of going to an adult plant, it must have water. And for the germination step to happen, the germination process, germination being start to grow, okay? For that to happen, you must have water. Nothing else is gonna do it. Put it out in some sunlight, it's not gonna do it, okay? So yeah, and the roots, are the first thing to start to grow on a plant. Whether it be from seed, as you know, we did not grow this from seed, okay? We grew it from the garlic clove, by the way. Fun, fun fact, going into plant parts, right? So you have your roots, stem, leaves, flowers, depending on what type of um, plant it is, okay? and the clove or like the garlic head this is part of this is part of the garlic head that's left right cuz i've just been letting these samples sit the you all know how i feel about noises um <laughs> oh well i'll just keep it going um this is this is for first video so all the things might happen um let's focus on the plant right so the roots are the first things that's going to start to grow because the roots are things that's going to absorb the water from wherever it's in if it's hydroponic then it's growing in water and a nutrient rich solution or if it's growing in these cotton balls or if it's growing in soil the roots have to grow first because absorption of the water and the other nutrients is primary it's absolutely for the plant to then do anything else all right so that being said isn't that fun isn't that cool this is what it looks like only after a couple of days today's tuesday and i started these puppies on thursday okay go back and see you can go back and see what they look like in the beginning um and like i said since this is an update not let's not belabor the point um but it's starting to split the paper right that's on the clove you see that is starting to split and if we were to let this continue you see you're starting to get there's a little bit of, of a bump here and on the other samples you'll see what that bump is becoming but yes this is the stem that's what i was saying your root stem also uh other bulbs are like that the um onions are like that onions are actually the stem okay now let's look at our water our other sample that's just a clove in water do you see that this is why i like using clear cups because clear cups you can see all those tendrils those are the roots isn't that fantastic and you can see how it's splitting that paper right there, right? The paper is splitting and the paper is starting to come off. And we're getting the start of what will be a leaf, okay? And they grow these very long leaf-like situations like spring onions, right? Those are the leaves, guys, okay? Um, the green part of the spring onion. And this is a similar plant, okay? They, they, they sprout, they grow roots like very, very quickly. You put them in some water. As long as, remember, that bottom piece is intact, see? As long as this bottom piece Oh, yikes. Okay. It just dropped in the water. But as long as this piece is intact, it will grow some roots. It's fantastic. 
And then my other one, because remember, if you go back and watch to see the other video, I just put it in various, various ways for it to make contact. There's one, two, this one was more about engineering something to make to suspend, right? It was less about starting the plant to grow and more about having the students suspend it over um, and up into the water, okay? And over to have something that would kind of hang over at the edge of the cup. And then this was being creative with this sauce cup because I remember I was telling you I buy these in bulk and the top, okay? So I'm actually gonna take the top off, which I have not taken it off since I started it. All I did was starting to suspend so you can see the roots. This is an easy way for your students to be able to see that. Yeah, isn't it cool? So fascinating to me, all right? And you see it's splitting, the paper is coming off, and also we're starting to get, I kind of, I want the paper to come off naturally, but we're starting to get this bump on the top, which is going to be a leaf, All right? So yeah, that's, that's our follow-up from our garlic sprouting situation garlic and some water you see it's 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 a garlic a cup and water you can use toothpicks sometimes people use toothpicks and create like a kind of a little triangle situation i use paper clips because i thought it would be entertaining to try to use something else or you can stick it into some cotton balls because in the cotton ball your students will really be able to see what's happening now, if you try to put it inside of soil, which you're most welcome to do, that's your choice. It's just that inside of these various mediums, it's easier for the children to see what's happening. If you're trying to grow it, that's a whole nother conversation. And you're going to want to make sure you're picking a medium that's safe for the plant to absorb that, that those nutrients. It does take, garlic takes a while to grow into garlic <laughs> um, to, garlic cloves you can do it i want to say it takes like several months okay for that to happen um but as far as to sprout something and to be able to see what's happening for our learning purposes to start to learn about the plant parts the roots stem leaves flowers you can see roots within several days with just a couple of days y'all so it's been lovely hanging out with you Welcome to April 2025. I'm super excited about the prospect of coming on with you and joining you to give you some learning tips and to talk to you about the day in the life of Miss Steph over the next um, 29 days. Because of course, we're you know April has 30 days and we've already started, right? So the next 29 days, we'll see what this adventure is of coming on live and or posting a video on YouTube every day. Have an absolutely wonderful day.